Hey guys, it's Janet with Expressive Decorating and I cannot begin to tell you how excited I am to be back and how much I've missed you guys. I missed you so much, but you know, life gets in the way. And before I go into any more detail, just to make it short and sweet, my husband changed positions. We bought a lake house, which I'm gonna share everything with you. I promise uh, I will be taking you through a tour of the lake house and what we've done so far. And three grandbabies in 15 months. Do I need to say more? No, all wonderful things. But anyway, you came here for the new tour of what the house looks like now, or the condo. And so let's get started. I don't want you to miss a thing. Hi guys. <laughs> So come on in, I can't wait to show you what has been done so far with the condo. We're pretty much done. So let's start here with the bathroom. I don't know if you remember what it looked like, but it's a world of difference. So the same tiles that we used in the kitchen, um, these are just peel and stick, believe it or not. Um, this is what we did with the wall. Um, you will see the difference in this wall. Um, it was like a mustardy yellow at any rate. Anyway, so we changed everything around here and uh, we left this. These were still in great condition. We just gave them a nice coat of white paint and um, here you go. So I want you to see what we did around here. Just simple design, you know, nothing much to it, but it looks so much better than it did. Okay, so let's move on to this area. In the past, I had talked to you guys about my idea was to put mirrors, uh, like three mirrors, but unfortunately, I didn't like the way it looked. I felt like there was no color. There, it just was not enough. So, um, so this is what we've done so far. Um, I picked these up. Um, at Pier 1 and they're wonderful because they have lots and lots of storage. Unfortunately, as you guys know, Pier 1 is no longer um, in existence, which I cannot believe. But um, yeah, so these were Pier 1 um, and these I picked up at Kirkland's and they still have them available and I love them. So um, that's what we did in here so far. Um, and then let me take you around to, well, let's talk about the kitchen. Um, the kitchen is finally done. It's complete. Um, the last time I talked to you guys, we did not have um, the bottom of uh, all around here done. If you want to come around, all that was here, they had, he hadn't put the doors on or anything yet. There was just this uh, electrical strip, which I have had so many people tell me that they feel like that was like the greatest idea. I wish I could say I came up with it. Um, but the gentleman who did this for me um, did, and it has been a lifesaver. So, and then of course we've got all this wonderful storage under here because in a condo, man, you are, uh, you're always trying to find places to put things. And if you're anything like me, every time I see something that I love, I'm like, oh, I have to get it. I want to make sure I get it. And then where do you put it? So this was a real lifesaver too. So um, we have this up. I know I had talked to you guys in the past about the mirror and I love it here. It you know, reflects the light and um, I get a lot of compliments on this because not too many people would be thinking of doing this and it's great. So even if you have a smaller area, maybe you don't have a lot of room here, um, you can still do something reflective or, uh, over here. So, but anyway. I digress. Um, so yes, so kitchen is done. All right, let me take you over to this wall, which is my favorite wall uh, in the whole house. Again, we'll show you a picture of what this used to look like, and it's a world of difference. Um, we all we decided that we wanted to paint 
black in the back um, just because it makes everything pop, as you can see. Um, and we just love it. And then over here on this wall, I have um, done it a little tweak uh, to farmhouse because I, I really do love farmhouse. I just don't like it everywhere in the house. So this um, I'm very happy with as well. So, oh, something I forgot to tell you. How could I forget? We got a puppy, you guys. So I'm gonna show you, I'll, you know, I'll be bringing him on so that you guys can see him, her, him. Um, and um, so, let me take you over here. I'll show you a picture really quick. So this is Jenny. She's a golden doodle. And she is the love of our life. She loves everybody and all animals. But on a sad note, we lost Buddy. We miss him so much. We lost him pretty much right after Christmas. He lived a long, great life. But yeah, we do miss him very much. So let me tell you a little bit about this piece and how this came to be. So these, both of these um, were sold individually and they were sold at Kirkland's and there was glass in between because basically they were frames. When we bought the house in Deep Creek, moving stuff over there, they got damaged and some of the glass broke, but I held on to them because they're such cool pieces. So when I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do with this wall, all I did was I went to the dollar store. These are just black um, poster board pieces that I cut and put behind there. And you know, that ties in again with the black and the white and um, it's, a, it's a more dramatic look. Um, and then, yeah, so sometimes trash to treasure, that whole thing, it's so true. Sometimes just think out of the box. If you see something at a yard sale and it's broken, you still may be able to use it. Over here, I did have it decorated and my husband is working from home now and normally this is where he sits. This is his little home office at the moment. Um, so that is that. We put this uh, new, I just love this uh, crazy looking uh, light, light fixture. But um, yeah, I love that thing. And then this is what I was trying to tell you guys about. This is space that we just found when we put this extra bookcase in because the wall actually completely stopped right here. Um, and now, you know, as soon as we put this up, you still had all this space behind. So now we have more storage. Um, so, now let me take you into the bedroom and uh, let's see. Okay, I'm very proud of this bedroom. I get a lot of people saying, oh my gosh, the green, but it makes my heart sing. I just love it. So, yep, this is my green bedroom. <laughs> oh, let me take you over here really quick. So I couldn't find anything that I wanted to put in this space um, and still pick up the green. And I saw this picture on, I don't know if I saw it on Etsy. At any rate, I saw it, I cut and pasted it and I sent it to FedEx like I always do and made this picture out of it. And I just love it because, you know, shut up and kiss me. That's what you want before you go to bed at night. So um, that's about all I can show you right now. As you see, we're still not even done. We haven't even finished putting the um, you know, finishing touches on here. I haven't found curtains that I love as yet. So anyway, I love you guys. I can't tell you how happy I am to be back with you. Remember, hit the subscribe button uh, and the notification button. And we will see you very, very shortly. Bye.